Do, do, do. All right, let's start this baby up. Hey, welcome, everyone. Sean has a new haircut. Oh, I probably shouldn't cover up the mic, the camera. That's awesome. Woo! New haircut. Uh, the studio is still a disaster. Paper rolls everywhere. Let me just post the link and we'll get started. If I can just get my uh, Twitter to update here, that would be great. Hopefully I posted it. All right. Uh, I think today's going to be a good one. Uh, it's Drunken Chats with Sean. I'm drinking a real beer this time. No more of this Rattler crap. I'm doing the Canuck Pale Ale. Um, love it. Great Lakes beer. And we're going to be talking about hacking your systems. Oh, I'm getting purples. Give a shout out, whoever that is, so I can say hi. I cannot get Twitter to update with the link to this, so that's really pissing me off. Come on. There we go. All right, let me just copy this link. Who is it? Me! Hey, Eric. Yeah, I'm off of that. I'm on to the, I'm on to the real stuff. All right, let's grab this link. Let's post this to Facebook because most of uh, most of my followers don't have the app because they're lame. There, I got that out. Yeah, there we go. That's running. Here we go. All right, let's get this guy started. Drunken chat. All right. So, I was about to schedule an intervention. <laughs> Thanks, Eric. So, um, I was talking with a really good friend. Uh, she is amazing. She is one of the best writers in the world. Um, one of the pieces she recently wrote basically caused me to go vegan again. Like her writing is so effing powerful and she has started thing after thing and just hasn't been able to pull the trigger. And and just so anybody else out there is feeling the same way, you are not alone. We've all been there. We've all been trying shit and we're like, we have all these voices in our head going, oh, we suck and we can't do it and we're not good enough or whatever or it's not right or, you know, a million reasons we have in our head. I want everyone out there to know you are not alone. We all have that. Even me, I jump and jump and I do so many crazy new things, but I have it too. I have those voices. We're driving in the car, we're talking, and the reason for this rant is A, I want to drink some beer, and B, because she said to me, I know, I know it's me. I know it's my problem. I know it's something I have to get over. And I was, I almost slammed the brakes on the car. Yeah, yeah. I, not me, her. She, that was in her voice. She's like, it's me. I'll do it in her voice, okay? She's going to kill me if she listens to this. It's me. It's my problems. I know. I know. It's just... An... And I almost slammed. I almost put the car into a full stop because I was like, it is not you. That is ridiculous. So that's what we're talking about. Uh, my name is Sean Howard. I am a beer drinker. Um, Eric will attest that I'm a good beer drinker today. Maybe not on the past ones. I am a blogger, a podcaster, a writer, have a book, um, but what I want to talk about today is that. And I want to talk about how you hack your systems, and I want everyone out there to know it's not you. No matter what that voice in your head says, you are not alone, okay? So I'm going to walk through four different ways to hack your system, okay? Because it is a system. You can't, it's not just you. It's, it's everything around you that's pushing down on you and forcing you to stay in the status quo, and there are a lot of pressures. So we have to fight back, and we have to be... Well, a little dirty about it, okay? So here we go. Uh, give a shout out where you're listening from. If you're not on the web, if you're on the web, you can't give a shout out. You have to be silent. So go get the app. It's not that hard, people. I know I got Eric. Anybody else? Who else we got over here? Oh, and I figured out how to do it, Camara. So guys, go swipe to the left, click on share, and then you can invite your friends. It's really annoying, but it's awesome because all their phones go off. Yeah, it's really cool, Eric, because all their phones are going to go off and go, you should watch Sean be drunk. Okay. Lame. Thanks, Eric. Nice support. Okay, I can't wait for your next problem. Hey, Eric did it. Okay, so here we go. Uh, number one, you have to hack your social network. You have to, thanks, dude. You have to log into Facebook and into Twitter and then create a list of your friends and you have to draw an X through all the ones that do not support you and that stand for the exact opposite of what you're doing. Okay, so I've talked about it before. Chris Takis did amazing research on social networks and how social networks influence us. If we have people that are overweight in our social network, three removed, that's friends of friends of friends who you don't even know, they impact whether you are able to lose weight. Okay, so same thing. If your entire network, because you've been working a job for so many years and you go to leave it and start something new, your social network is probably made up of people that have jobs like you. Well, you gotta change that, okay? You don't have to 
buy or get rid of them all as friends, but you definitely need to increase the number of friends that are doing things that you want to do. Okay, You have to put them in your social network and you have to give them more weight in your network. Sounds familiar, Eric says. Eric just went through this. And, you know, Eric and myself, we were agency guys. I realized when well, you're doing this fundraising thing, and I was going through my LinkedIn, and I have, like, 700 people on LinkedIn, and they're all agency people. Like, every and some realtors. Everyone has realtors, right? So it's, it's all agency people and realtors. And so I was like, I need to change my network. I need more speakers in there and writers and artists. Okay, so that's called hacking your social network. And I usually rant against this hack thing, but look, Eric, I'm using it. I'm going with it. Okay. So first, poor overworked people. <laughs> Eric, you work harder now than you ever did. Except the realtors? What? No, I think it's the other way around, Eric. Why so many realtors? I don't know. Everyone decides they want to try being a realtor. Anybody out there trying to be a realtor, that's awesome. I have no problem with that. Okay, so first, change your social network, okay? And for everybody just joining, I'm talking about how it's not just us when we feel like there's a problem, right? There are all these pressures on us holding us back. Some of them are internal, but a lot of them are external. So. Look at your social network and change it. Hack the shit out of it. Start inviting people that have taken leaps that are doing cool things along the lines you want to do. Get them in your network. Two, create social contracts. Accountability, right? That's sort of, um, that's what I've been doing with the podcast. Eric was a co-host with me in the podcast. Now he's launching Halo Brewery. Um, but you create social contracts by telling people that you're going to do something. You don't have to do it yet. This isn't like I'm ready to launch. Excuse me, this beer is really making me burp. Woo, I'll drink more of it. Okay, so you have to create accountability so that you have some commitment. Now, a lot of people, they can just tell the world, I'm going to do this, and then they feel enough pressure to do it. I need more than that. I tell the world, I'm doing it, and then three months go by, and I'm like, oh, shit, I haven't worked on that. So I need more than that. So I actually book deadlines. So I'm working on my second book. Hey, Raj, I'm working on my second book. So I actually have hired a storyteller to work with me and I have deadlines of next week now and I have to have something ready for her. Hey, Raj. And that's how I keep something moving forward. Okay, so create social contracts that work for you, right? Game the system, uh, whether it's telling some friends. There's a website where you can actually fill out a contract and if you don't do it, you have to pay money. Like you say, I will pay $100 if I don't do this. And you can set up, a, anyways, all kinds of cool ways to create a social contract. You can just tell your friends. You can post it to the world. You can start up, appear on a podcast and be interviewed about the book you haven't written yet. I did that once. Very motivational to get that book written. So, hey, Raj, welcome. So, my name's Sean Howard. I'm a blogger, blah, 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 writer, whatever. I'm talking about how you hack the systems around you to get shit done. And I'm trying to give people power to realize that that voice inside of ourselves that we all have that says, I'm not good enough and other people have, they're just better at it than I am, that's bullshit. We all have that voice. Every one of us, even those of us that are starting new things, right? Eric's on here, he can attest. He's launching a new brewery, major change in life for him. It's hard. Right? And we all have those voices. All right, so those are the first two things. Hack your system. I'll recap them at the end. I talk really fast. Take a drink of beer. <laughs> Third thing you can do. Practice. It's crazy. I, um, I've sort of changed my stance on this one. I was talking recently with someone. I was thinking, you know, get rid of the doubters. Yes, get rid of the doubters. You know, you got people who keep saying, oh, have you thought that through? Get rid of them. Block them. Get rid of them. Delete them from Facebook. You don't need them. Okay. Practice. I was having this conversation where I was I was sort of reassessing my view of of saying you're going to start something and not doing it because I've done that a lot. And there's two things to that. One is to actually realize that we have to practice things like courage. We have to practice things like new skills or, or taking that leap. And there, me too. Awesome, Raj. There's nothing wrong with practicing it, okay? Now, there's a downside in that you've just given the voice in your head more ammunition, right? You said, I said, I'm going to be a baker. I bought all this crazy amount of gear and I don't know, these stones that go on my stove. I don't even know what they do. I just buy all this stuff and try to make bread. And my bread was pretty funny. Like it was really tiny little, they looked like breadsticks and they're supposed to be French baguettes. So, I gave that up. And so I gave power to that voice because that voice can now go, oh, look, Sean, now you want to now you want to go and write a book. Remember the baking thing? OK, so so you sort of have to you you have to give yourself permission to, to practice and try things and let them fail. But you also have to recognize that that voice is going to try and bring that back. Right. So be ready to fight that voice, you know, be ready to go. Well, screw you. I had fun baking bread, even if it tasted like garbage. Hopefully your bread tastes better than my bread. 
I am not being Merlin Man, you bastard. Thanks, Eric. That's a Merlin Man reference for everyone out there who old time podcast listeners. Okay, that's third thing is practice. Uh, fourth way to hack your systems, and I'll recap these at the end. Okay, this is a big one. We have to shift to rewarding, and we have to stop punishing. Um, this is where, believe it or not, my, my work, dog training and, and behaviorally, I mean, he didn't finish his book and you did. Oh, yeah! Putting one down on Merlin, man! Thanks, Eric. That was awesome. Uh, okay. Simple behaviorism says that things that we reward happen more often in us, okay? We like to believe we live in a world where we are rationally deciding what to do every moment. I hate to tell you this, it's not true. We are making decisions emotionally. Even the ones that we have these awesome rationalizations for, or we think we're in conscious control, tested and tested and tested. Almost everything starts at an emotional level first, okay? And then the conscious brain kicks in. So it's really important that we think about how we reward the good thoughts we have and the positive thoughts we have around moving to take a leap or do something that we know is important to our soul. But most of us spend our time punishing ourselves, going, we're not good enough, and we didn't, we didn't hit our deadline, and we're behind, and we don't have this, and we don't have that. Like my friend, she was going on and on about, I know it's my problem and my fault, and it's my upbringing, and it's, you know, blah, blah, blah. Like we're, we're so used to punishing ourselves and punishing ourselves and punishing ourselves. And we need to start shifting to rewarding ourselves. How do you reward yourself, you know, you need to think, have you rewarded yourself today? And how did you reward yourself? Myself, I sat on a log and I realized for the first time in a while, I was comfortable and at peace and just thinking again and focusing. And, and I wasn't worrying. And so I rewarded myself. Like I went out and bought an ice cream cone. It was a soy ice cream cone. But anyways, it doesn't matter, which isn't as good as a real ice cream cone, sadly. But you have to reward yourself, right? <laughs> you have to reward yourself and you have to think about how you're rewarding the positive things you are doing in the world because we're all trying things and it's hard. Even if they're failing, we did it. We took that leap when everyone else said it was impossible and maybe they were right. But the point is we did it. We are practicing and our next leap is going to be even freaking bigger and more awesome. Okay, so we have to remember to reward ourselves and that will pay you back in spades. It changes everything in our brain, okay? So that's the four things I think we need to do to hack our systems, okay? So to recap, before I do, my name's Sean Howard. I've been told I need to keep saying that because people join. I don't know. Still learning this Periscope thing. So the four things. Look at your social network and fill it with people that are positive or doing things that are similar to you. If it's entirely full of the old, the thing you're trying to leave, then of course you're not going to leave. The whole system is there to pop you back into place. That's social pressure, right? Keep the status quo. That everyone does it. That's part of that system and they don't know they're doing it, okay? And we help them with our internal voices. So fill your system with the crazy people, the people that are leaping, that are doing the things you want to do. Friend them, right? Delete the people that aren't supporting you. As Eric says, the naysayers, the whiners, or whatever, just delete them. Get rid of them. You don't need them in your network. Two, accountability. Social contracts. Make a social contract. You know, I hire people and they make them give me a crazy date to deliver because I know that's what holds me accountable right? Because I'm an ultimate procrastinator. A lot of time, I spend a lot of time angry at myself that I'm always procrastinating. Now it's my greatest gift. I know that all I have to do is get a hard date with, with a client and I'm going to deliver. It may be the night before, but it's done. Okay. So I've just learned to use my procrastination. Third is practice. Okay. You have to practice this stuff. You can't just do it. No one just does it. Elon Musk doesn't just do it. Everyone practices. Everyone had ramp up and trial and tried and tried and failed and tried and did different things. You gotta practice it. Even if that's just doing something weird, like go take a day off and take a course, whatever. You gotta practice this stuff. And fourth, remember to reward yourselves. It's really, really important. And I think if you do those four things, you can hack the system. It's not you. It's the system around us, okay? And our brain and that system. So that's it. That's my rant. Hope you guys enjoy it. Any questions? Questions? <sighs> I can drink now. No, no questions. Dun, dun, dun. I get hearts. Thanks, Eric. I appreciate you joining, dude. We got to get you back on the show. We need to do an update. Want to go camping? Yes! I want to go camping! All right. I'm out of here. Thanks, guys. That was Drunken Chat with Sean. Just drinking beer. Me too. Talk to you guys soon. All right, I'm going to book you. Bye. No, that doesn't do it. I'm as bad as Cat trying to stop these things. Yeah.